There are many products here, and your choice is bird food seed. These are special benefits, and prices will help you more than others. This will help you with different information. I have researched different products, and the advantages and disadvantages of these products have made me sweet by looking at different reviews. If you have any problem with these products, you can refund these products for free. If you want to know more about these products, go to my description box. So without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Number 1.KT Wild Bird Food Black Oil. According to the National Audubon Society, black oil sunflower seeds appeal to more birds than any other type. Our testing confirmed the preference, with more of the KT Wild Bird Food Black Oil sunflower seeds disappearing than any other kind each day. These seeds are high in fat content and have thin enough shells for almost any seed eating bird to crack. Striped sunflower seeds are bigger and tougher to break. They also generate little to no waste below the bird feeder since the birds don't have to cherry-pick their favorite options from a mix of food types. Since the birds eat nearly every seed, you get a lot of value per pound. The only waste these sunflower seeds produce is the split in empty shells. If they're falling into your yard, you probably won't notice, but those feeding birds on a deck may have to sweep it. Again though, you probably will generate less debris. Number 2.KT Niger Thistle Seed. Only the KT Niger Thistle Seed gave the sunflower seeds a run for their money in popularity. Though fewer birds prefer them, mostly finches, we have a lot of those, and the seeds quickly disappeared. Niger is not technically a thistle. Since many American thistle species are invasive, bird lovers switched to a daisy-like plant from Africa, the Niger, Gazosha abyssinica. The small, thin seeds are oily, rich in nutrients, and heat sterilized to make sure they don't sprout. According to the Cornell Lab, they require specific feeders with mesh fine enough to hold the seeds, but large enough for perching birds like finches, siskins, and indigo buntings to pull the seeds through. The result is a feeder that birds cling to, often upside down, providing lively feeding conditions for flocks of siskins. And, squirrels aren't that fond of niger seed, so it's a good choice if you have lots of fluffy-tailed friends. Number 3. Adubon Park Critter Crunch. We tested Adubon Park Critter Crunch in its bird feeding capacity. Though this mix of corn, black oil sunflower seeds, peanuts, and whole peanuts is marketed as feed for furry friends like squirrels and deer. Many experts advise against feeding non feathered wildlife, and corn can actually harm deer. Some folks do feed squirrels and chipmunks to keep them out of dedicated bird feeders but the practice is fraught with controversy and is especially ill-advised in urban areas. So, anyway, the birds, they like it, judging by the amount consumed during our testing period. Many birds love that this mix is stacked with crowd-pleasing black oil sunflower seeds. We also loved watching the blue jays and red-bellied wood. Number 4.KT Hummingbird Electronector. The KT Ready to Use Hummingbird Electronector makes it exceptionally easy to fill your feeder. Just shake it up, Pop the top off and pour it in. The ruby-throated hummingbirds who tried it during testing seemed quite satisfied, and we really appreciate that this hummingbird nectar is clear. Experts, including those at the Cornell Lab, recommend avoiding red coloring, since the dye could harm them. What is a little less clear is whether or not the electrolyte additives are needed. While hummingbirds do need electrolytes, they also get them from the flower nectar and bugs that they also forage for and Cornell, and the Smithsonian recommended mixing one part granular sugar, with four parts water to make your nectar, and that's it. This mix adds such number 5. Lyric fruit and nut high energy. The lyric fruit and nut high energy mix of peanuts, almonds, pecans, cashews, pistachios, cranberries, raisins, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and steamed crimped corn look good enough to eat. Lyric claims that non-seed-eating species like cedar waxwings and orioles that rarely visit bird feeders will appreciate the mix. Sources like Cornell suggest offering fresh fruit to draw such birds in or to rehydrate dried fruits in water. So, we wondered how popular the dried fruit would be in our tests. Audubon notes that dried fruit and nut mixes appeal to titmus, woodpeckers, and nuthiches, which we have plenty of. While we didn't catch any so that's all for my end. I make helpful videos daily, so subscribe to my channel. If you need more information or if you want to know product price check my description. For any kind of problem please comment below. Stay updated with our cool products as they will make your life much easier.